Hey guys, what's up? Filippo here. Today we talk about the iDynamic Rage wheels. Which are the main differences between the primary wheels and working with the log wheels, how this work and why they've been made with the latest DaVinci Resolve 17 uh, update. So as they're named, the iDynamic Range wheels have been you know, made mainly to work with HDR uh, footage, obviously, but we can take advantage on how they have been made also with um, SDR outputs and with clips that are not made, made for uh, HDR deliveries. So right now I got this clip, and by the way, for this whole video, I will be working just on one single corrector because I just want to let you focus on the wheels now with this work. So I'll be pressing uh, Shift F and I'll be just cranking up my image and I'll be focusing on it. And for the sake of the old video, I'll be working on a color minute space. Won't be inside SDR, but inside DaVinci Wide Gamut, just to have a uh, pleasing feeling and more uh, natural feeling while working with my wheels. And with the out of color space, I'll be stuck into Rec 709. So I'll press save. I have my conversion right now. And I want to start talking about the wheels themselves. So the HDR wheels have one specific thing that the other wheels don't have. They have the um, specific zones and specific ranges of work. And by the way, if you're not seeing this uh, scheme right here, you just have to press this button and you'll be seeing this. So the primary wheels work in the three specific uh, range. You got the lift that work into specific IRE, lowest IRE, the gamma that's in, on the mid zone and the gain that is on the highest zone. And then you got the log wheels that work in really uh, straight and more closed um, zones that you can expand with the lowest and higher range. Because as you know, if you'll be tweaking around things on shadow, highlights and mid-tone, you will be able to tweak around the ranges on how those tweaks and the things that you've done will be affecting your image. So these things, the ranges, have been translated into zones for the high dynamic range um, panel and for the high dynamic range uh, wheels. So the wheels work in the exact same way. You got uh, just you know, wheels exactly similar to our normal primary wheels, but we got few different things around. First of all, we got this dot right here. Uh, this symbol stands for darker areas and this symbol here for highlighted and more luminous areas. We got our IRE level represented in the exact same way on the horizontal way, and we can also see our scope and the strength of our image right there by clicking on these three dots and by displaying them. We can also display our Instagram and color space and gamma and whatever we will love to inside it. And we have also those zones represented by clicking them and by clicking the highlight. So if I'm, I'm gonna click this, I'm gonna see the area that is affecting. And if I tweak something around with the highlighted button pressed, it will highlight me the old zone around. Then we have our reset, obviously. We have our exposure and saturation for this specific range. And we uh, have our coordinates right there and the fall off. And the main difference is, is there, is the fall off and the range, the max range that we got for each one of this zone. And we can tweak them as we want from range. So you got here the max range of our wheels that we can display in this really simple way. You got your max range, you got the fall off, or actually where it is affecting our image, how much is it affecting our image, the range this is affecting. And we can also customize our range by dragging this around or on the specific zone by tweaking this around and the fall off in the same way here. So if you're not working with an HDR clip, you might want to um, turn off some of the zones that you might want, you know, you don't need or you want to be affecting. You might be working with less wheel 
or with more wheels or better more zones because actually you can create a new zone you can put your name here that you want the custom zone that you were decreating maybe you got an highlighted area for the sun for a specific light that it's more intense you can just name it and categorize it and just create but for this specific image i just want to let you know how this works and how is this really accurate by working with zones so having this clip and working with this with primaries in a really simple way will be like okay i'm just reading that we got a really big blue cast on our image on the uh, shadow area so i might take my lift in a really simple way and i want to neutralize it just by going through my reds really gently and this will have a really huge impact my whites are pretty good i might balance this with the gain just a touch and then for those kind of strange greens right there i might want to tweak a bit the gamma around but not that much just a touch and this would be in literally 30 second a uh, few tweaks with my primaries we can do the exact same thing in a really accurate way and in a better way with our hdr wheels so i can start by darker areas and by clicking it i will see where my darker areas sit i can customize them so i will change the range that these are affecting and be doing the exact same thing so i'll be doing on this red part and i'll be just tweaking the range a bit on a lower zone maybe let me just see where we want to make it sit and as you can see we are being really specific here we are just working on really specific zones right there i want to be a bit more gentle like there i just want to darken this area in a really really pure black zone and above that i want to go on the blacks i want to expand a bit our blacks here work a bit with the fall off include this zones right here and again zoom it in and just darken this on a more even way before and after and we're just neutralizing these specific zones and these zones right here again we can move further on the shadows so same thing i want to see where my shadow sits customize the value and as you can see this zone is including a bit of the dark and, and light zone and i can expand the fall off a bit more make my tweak and here i'm just neutralizing blue so it's a really simple example to show and then i want to play with the range and here we got our shadow series then we want to pass on the light zones so we got these other casts again tweaking the highlights finding the right spot for for my light i might want to expand it a bit like this fall off to same thing i want to neutralize those blue a bit just a touch not too much as you can see if we overdo this our zoomer gonna take a lot of color so i want to place it in the correct zone and it might be right here i might say it might be right here because i'm looking mainly of those bubbles here and the fact that we got a touch of color th there it might be due to our i might say the dark zone let me check this for sure it's for the dark zone or the dark or the shadow zone maybe the shadow yeah maybe a bit of this so you can do a bit of back and forth from this 
just to fine tune it. As you can see, you get specific ranges. So right now I want to go on the highlights. I got really few parts here on the highlights. And I want to crank the range a bit down. I want to crank the exposure a bit down just a touch. I actually want to crank a bit up the light. So in this way, we cleaned up our shot in a really fine way. For sure, we took more time than, you know, tweaking our primaries around that will take maybe f less time for sure. But in this case, if you want to spend more time with it and just going there and tweak around really little zones, we might want to eliminate the green cast. We might want to do extra things around. We can, as you can see, we start from an image that was really dirt and need tons of fixtures and with the ADR we can be super accurate. Again, we're working just on a singular node. We can add more nodes and do specific things around, specific tweaks. But I'm really happy for the result for a single node for a few tweaks. I hope you have understand the usage of this wheel. I hope you have understand the usage of HDR. Um, wheels when you're not working with HDR footage. Take advantage of the zones, take advantage of the fact of being extra accurate. If, if you got time to, you know, do this extra thing, do it. Until the next time, be brave and make it better.